Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. This time we are going to discuss a topic which is really annoying. Yeah? However, it is very common. Yeah? So we have to deal with it. This is the issue. I am talking about a thing called wind up. Okay? You know probably wind up toys and so on. Yeah? It's different. Yeah? It's about the the controller to overreact. Yeah. How is this possible? Yeah. I tell you that the parameters and so on are adjusted fine, yeah. but it's overreacting. How is this possible? Hmm. Let's have a look how on our on our system. Yeah. So here we have the controller. Here we have the system. So this here is the controller and this is the control system. We said the output of the control system is our controlled variable. The input to the controller is our control deviation. Yeah. Here we have our XD. Here we have our X. Yeah. And the output of the controller, we said, is the correcting variable. However, we also said there is somewhere, somewhere a control element. And the output of the control element this is the correcting variable y. The output of the controller, this might be something else. So the output of the controller, which color do I use? This one probably. The output of the controller, which is influencing the controlled, the control element, I call it y dash. Yeah. This here is the control element. And the issue now is that there might be a difference between this y dash and this y. Okay? Between the internal correcting variable and the really applied correcting variable. Uh, there might be a difference. I show you what I mean uh, with the help of a little diagram. Let's assume it's the time. Uh, let's assume we have a certain reference variable. Uh, this reference variable should look like this. Back, jump to a certain value. Stay constant there. Uh, so this is our reference variable w from t. Okay. And let's say before we were perfect. Yeah? So our x was here. Yeah? The same. This was our, our controlled variable. This was the same. Yeah? This means our, our error, our control deviation here, is here zero. And exactly at this point in time, it is going to jump. And it's going to jump exactly this amount up. Back. This is our xd from, a, from, from t. Jumping up, book. So, what will our y do? Our y, yeah? depending on the controller type, we just discussed this in previous videos. Yeah, there will probably be a little jump at the beginning. Yeah? Y dash, yeah? and then because it's let's say there's also this little p part, yeah, and let's say there's also an i part, it will start to grow. Okay. Because this is growing, yeah. Why? Let's assume now these are the same. Yeah. 
because those two are growing, yeah, this X will react. Yeah. So, however, there might be the case that this Y is not following this jump because simply it needs a little time to adjust. Yeah? So our Y will now start to grow with a maximum possible rate. Yeah? Let's say this is some motor valve, something like this. Yeah? And the motor valve needs to adjust Y to the new value and there is a jump, so it cannot just jump. Yeah? This is simply not possible. Yeah? So it will start with a certain maximum speed it is allowed. Yeah? However, our X will react yeah? because this is designed proper, let's say our X will react. So it will start to grow also. Yeah? Maybe a little bit delayed, start to grow. Yeah? This means, this means our, our correcting variable will go, will start to, our control difference will start to drop here. Yeah? This means here we are slowing down with our rise. Yeah? So let's say this is the game. Yeah? We discussed this. Let's say our, our variable is going up. Yeah? This means this will slow down because our controller deviation is going down. It's going down. Yeah. This will slow down more and more and more and more. Yeah. Something like this. And here my Y, my applicable Y is going up yeah and now yeah we might even reach a position where this has the maximum position yeah? this is fully open full throttle full extended to its maximum yeah then this suddenly remains constant yeah the y because it cannot go further however the internal Y may grow further yeah? and then we are somewhere hitting a point yeah? we are reaching zero uh, we are reaching zero on the on the deviation here yeah? reaching zero at the deviation and we would expect then to stop yeah? however yeah, we are here at maximum, we are maxed out here. Yeah. Our our internal one will also stop. Yeah. Our internal Y will stop because it is satisfied right now. Yeah. So the integrational part will not go up or go down. However, yeah, we are already too far above. Yeah. So we are overshooting here a little bit. Yeah. And we would, of course, expect our controller immediately to react and go down with our correcting variable. It does, but only internally. Yeah? This is going down now. Yeah? Externally, I do not recognize because I'm at the maximum. Yeah? I am at the maximum. So I will have to wait until here. Yeah? until we reach again the until this is getting smaller than this and then they will move together up to then to this point in time we will grow simply yeah and maybe we will grow even further but this is then more adjustment yeah? and starting here suddenly after a while it seems like the controller is also recognizing what we have already seen before yeah, and will start to close this. Yeah. So this will then go down again and maybe hit 
Ja. So this probably looks like this and going down and then stays there somewhere. Huh? What did make this a little bit awful? Yeah? The reaction is that here we are have we have overreacted. Yeah? Why did we overreact? Yeah? Because internally we thought we are here with the correcting variable. However, the real acting correcting variable was below. And exactly this share here this was caused by wind up. So the wind up is influencing the controller to overreact because the internal correcting variable and the external correcting variable are not the same. Okay? So this is actually this wind up. For the proportional part, this is no issue. No? The proportional part is mainly well, I will look like this. Uh, the, the difference will look like this. The proportional part is mainly a gained difference. So here the proportional part is already zero. No? At this point in time, the proportional part is already zero. However, the I part, the integrating part, is too high, yeah? simply because it did, it was already too much. Yeah? From from the beginning, it was already too much. Yeah? Even if we could follow up here, we with our core control element, even if this is fast enough, yeah, we would still see this because there is somewhere a maximum power. Yeah, there is simply is, and the internal, the internal uh, control uh, correcting variable might overshoot. Yeah? If you want to accelerate with your car and your your controller, your speed controller, tries to push twice the pedal to the metal, it is not working. There is a maximum, there's a maximum power, yeah? and this maximum power is the maximum position of the control element. Yeah? In the car, pedal to the metal, that's it. There is no more power. Yeah? And if then the internal internal correcting variable is crawling, 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 yeah? because we want to do twice maximum power and third time, yeah? and then we are hitting, I don't know, 100 kilometers per hour, you adjust it, and it will overshoot, because it will simply not get away the throttle and only after a while it will be reduced. This is not, you know, this is not what you would expect. Yeah. So there are techniques on how uh, we can prevent this. Yeah. This is not a solution to make simply the controller a little bit smaller or a little bit weaker, a little bit less aggressive yeah, to, to stay always below. Yeah. To, to stay at the example of the car, imagine you've bought a sports car or a strong car and then you are enjoying the acceleration and so on. And then you put in the controller and expect that you will accelerate to 100 kilometers per hour. And let's say you have 200 horsepower yeah? and for 100 kilometers there is enough to spend, I don't know, 30 horsepowers and so the controller is just using 30 horsepowers and you're with your big strong car you are just slowly accelerating this is not and this is also not an option yeah you're using dynamics in this it is okay to stay to to to, to max out the system yeah why not yeah however as soon as you max out the system you're risking to get in wind up one possible, one possible way of dealing with windup is, for instance, at least in this area, if you limit the output to the maximum output. Uh, say, okay, there is nothing more, I will stop the integrational part. Uh, for these things, you would even need a little feedback from the control element, if it's already at the limit or not. Uh, 
if it's at the limit, you could stop in the controller the integrating part yeah, and say, okay, that's it. No more growing of integration part. We are already at the maximum possible speed. Yeah. Then the P part will be reduced and the it will level somehow. Yeah. So we will reach then the position that we the internal the internal controlled uh, correcting variable will stay cl close to the to the really acting one. Yeah. And then we are not reacting here. We are reacting already here, going down and preventing this big overshoot. Wind up. Typical issue you are going to bump in. Huh? There are very complex anti wind up technologies. Huh? This is not this is not coming from somewhere. This is coming because this is an issue. Huh? You should be aware of that this windup is existing. Okay. Yeah. Depending, of course, on the control system and so on. This is why we're going to analyze our control system in our next videos. Yeah. We next video we're talking about how to analyze this control system. Yeah. And then we're talking about how to analyze the whole control loop. For the control system, we do a reference variable, a reference variable, correcting variable jump. We are jumping here and see how the control system is reacting. What we can read out of this jump, of this reaction on the jump, and how to analyze this, we will see in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.